Who is it that when they give you feedback, you sit up and pay attention and really listen to them? Who does that for you? I have to say, I've, I've had some fantastic support from Sir Alex and uh, in, in the hard times that we've uh, gone through here, when you lose a game at Man United, it's, it is a crisis. And through the, the difficult periods, he's been a, a very, very good support to me. Uh, we keep texting each other, he rings me, there's, there's other people, Ed has been, uh, the club has, they've been very supportive as well. And that's, we went into this with a, with a, with a plan as well, which everyone, well, I put my, how do you say, my ideas across and say, well, this is not an easy fix, because I felt quite a bit had to be done. And Do you share with us what you felt needed to change? No, not really. <laughs> but then, of course, it's it's just those little those things that you you feel. If you want to give me the job, this is how I'd like yeah. to do it. Yep. But you have to understand, it might take some time. It might mean that we we're not going to challenge for the Premier League, or it will mean we we're not going to ch challenge for the Premier League in 2020. But we might be able to win the Europa League or FA Cup. But we'll challenge for top four still because we got quality. But it's I need time to get this done. Um, of course, there, there's always demands on that. You need to perform. You need to win. We, we, we've spoken about development and improvement and culture. But winning at Man United is important. Sure. So I, there's no chance I can rest, rest on the laurels and say, well, 10th is fine because we have a three-year plan. That's, that's completely... You can't do that. You have to always push the limits.